many people, I am a huge fan of the John Wick franchise. Like Terrifier, talk about, a, talk about a franchise that came out of nowhere with the first John Wick being released very small, very quietly, and then it just grew into this big, gigantic, well, maybe not gigantic, but definitely blockbuster, definitely beloved films, and which each installment, I just felt like the series got better and better and better. And yeah, John Wick 4, I do think, is my favorite of the franchise. They nailed it. They hit it out of the park. And now they are starting to expand the John Wick world. We already saw a little bit of that when they tried to do the Continental TV series. Womp womp. I never watched it, but I heard it was terrible. And now we're getting a theatrical release with their expansion of the universe with Ballerina. Of course, starring Ana de Armas, taking place in between John Wick uh, 3 and 4. Even Keanu Reeves is back in the role of John Wick. And they've also got a new director. Len Wiseman is going to be directing Ballerina. But it sounds like there's been a little bit of trouble with the movie. Because coming from uh, our friends over at Screen Rant, they say the Ballerina reshoots with the John Wick director taking over for significant changes after a poor early cut. Here's what they had to say. Uh, let's see. A new report sheds light on Ballerina's early cut, which apparently led to substantial reshoots from John Wick director Chad Stileski. The upcoming spinoff film from director Len Wiseman stars Ana de Armas as Eve, a female assassin who seeks revenge against those who killed her family. Ballerina was initially slated to release in summer 2024. If you guys remember, it was one of my most anticipated of last year and it never came out. Um, or of this year, sorry. But was pushed back to June 2025. With Lionsgate explaining at the time that the movie was, was, was to, that the move was allow, was to allow for the filmmaker, uh, for the filming of additional action sequences to satisfy audiences' high expectations, Zaleski was said to be overseeing these reshoots. A report from The Wrap now sheds more light on Ballerina's reshoots in situation, with insiders claiming that Stileski was more involved than previously believed. According to the publication sources, the first cut of the film was deemed not strong enough. The report claims that Stileski then reshot a significant portion of the film in Prague, with wise men not even present on the set. One of the insiders cited in the report claimed that in total, the reshoots took two to three months to complete overseas with Zaleski's work on the project delay in his Highlander reboot starring Henry Cavill, which remains in the script uh, stage. As for why Zaleski himself took over, uh, one of the rap's insiders explained that it's all about protecting the franchise from releasing a lackluster installment. Here's what they had to say. Of course, Chad had to clean up, clean up someone else's mess. Remember, this film is basically John Wick 3.5. This story happens before John Wick 4. And after that film, they can't have a failure in anything Wick related. Chad is going to do Highlander, but cleaning up Ballerina pushed him by five months for sure. So that comes to us from Screen Rant. And on the surface, <laughs> and I've seen some people online saying this too. This feels like panic mode. <laughs> this feels like we should be worried. What do you mean that he needed significant reshoots? What do you mean he needed to fix this movie? <laughs> what is going on? I do think that this is a little bit of a reaction to the Continental coming out and being so lackluster and getting the poor reviews that it did. In fact, I'm sure many of you, like myself, forgot that the Continental was even a thing, was even a John Wick-related show that came out. And I, for me personally, this actually instills a lot of confidence in this movie for me. Because, look, I don't want to bag on the guy. I really don't. But when I was looking at Len Wiseman's filmography, granted, granted, I have not seen a lot of these movies. I've only heard about them. And I have not heard good things about them. Because when you look at Len Wiseman, who's doing Ballerina, when you look at his filmography, he's got the Underworld movies, the Total Recall remake, and Live Free or Die Hard. Now, I've seen Live Free or Die Hard, and it's a fine movie. But if you're coming off of John Wick with the 
amazing action sequence with consistency in their amazing amazing action sequences throughout the entire franchise yeah you can't you can't ask for anything less than superb because that's what the john wick fans are used to now especially if you're going to have john wick himself appear in this film which has already been confirmed that he will be so yes it's kind of scary to hear that they needed to significantly fix this movie to the point that the john wick director had to step in take over this director's job as it says in that report it seems like uh len wiseman wasn't even on set for a majority of these reshoots but if that's going to result in us getting the John Wick action that we want, to, to getting the action sequences that we require as John Wick fans and that we're just accustomed to, I'm sure that that is their goal and that's just going to make the movie so much better. Because like they say, after coming off of John Wick 4, which many fans, including myself, think that they should stop making John Wick movies, stop with the John Wick character after John Wick 4. Now, this is fine. It's a prequel. John Wick's going to appear. It's 3.5, whatever. But it's still a John Wick movie if you have John Wick in there, at least in some way, shape, or form. And if we're not going to get what what Keanu Reeves has brought in the, in the other previous installments, then just keep it. <laughs> just keep it, because... I wouldn't want it. So if this is only going to make the movie better and make the action better and more in line with the John Wick sequels, then I am more than happy with this director taking over and coming in here and trying to save the poorly early, the poor early cut of this movie to make it something that will actually be great once we see it in theaters. 